Hello and good morning. We are now in competency number 5. We are going to solve equations transformable to quadratic equations. For our preliminary activities, we are going to find the LCM or the LCD of the following rational expressions. If you have one half, one third, and one fourth, what is our LCD? Correct, the LCD is 12. For the rational expressions, 2 over 5, 3 over 2, and 5 over 6, our LCD is? Correct, that is 30. The third one, 1 over 6, 2 over x, 1 half, and 4 over y. What will be the LCD? Very good, our LCD is 6xy. For the fourth rational expression, 1 over x plus 1, 2 over x, and 4 over y. Our LCD is? Yes, that is xy multiplied by x plus 1. We can actually express our LCD as product. So it will become x squared y plus xy. But since we will be dealing here with rational expressions, it will be easier for us to express the LCD as factors. And for the fifth one, 3 over x plus 2, 2 over x plus 1, and 1 over x. Our LCD is? Yes, that is x multiplied by the quantity x plus 1 multiplied by the quantity x plus 2. There are equations that are transformable to quadratic equations. These equations may be given in different forms, but for today, we are going to focus on rational algebraic expressions. The procedures in transforming to quadratic equations may be different, but once the equations are transformed, they can now be solved by extracting the square root, by factoring, by completing the square, or using quadratic formula. You can choose any of those four methods. Let's have example number one. If you have the equation 6 over x plus x minus 3 all over 4 equals 2. Yes, you are going to notice that we have here a rational algebraic equation. What you will be doing is to simplify the given equation and then you are going to solve the resulting equation. For us to simplify the given equation, what are you going to do first? Okay, since it is a rational algebraic expression, to simplify, you have to determine first the LCD. And in our example, our LCD is... Okay, our LCD is 4x. Now, what are you going to do with this LCD? Good, you are going to multiply the LCD to our equation. So, this is our equation. What are you going to do is to multiply it by the LCD. If we do that, multiplying the LCD to each and every term of the equation, we will be having that expression. How did we arrive with this expression? If we multiply 6 over x to 4x, what will happen is you are going to cancel out x. So what's left is 6 and 4. If you are going to multiply the second term, x minus 3 over 4 times 4x, you are going to cancel out 4. So what's left is x multiplied by x minus 3. And then if you are going to multiply the LCD by 2, then the answer will be 8x. And then simplifying the equation, 6 times 4 is 24, x times x is x squared, x times negative 3 is negative 3x, and then equals 8x. Let us simplify further. What are we going to do next? Okay, we are going to combine and rearrange so that we can get the standard form. So we have x squared here, and then you have negative 3x. Using addition property of equality, 8x here will become negative 8x, and then we just put 24 in here. If you are going to notice, we can simplify these two terms. Then we will be having x squared negative 3x minus 8x is equal to 11x and then plus 24 equals 0. As we simplify the rational algebraic expressions, what have you noticed? Okay, the resulting equation is actually a quadratic equation. This is what we are going to solve. 
our resulting equation is x squared minus 11x plus 24 equals 0. To solve the given quadratic equation, since this is factorable, then the correct factors will be quantity x minus 3 and quantity x minus 8. You are going to look at here or see negative 3 times negative 8, that is positive 24, and also negative 3 plus negative 8 is negative 11x. So those are the correct factors. What are you going to do next is to use the zero product property, equating each factor by zero, then using addition property of equality, solving for x, x sub 1 is 3, and x sub 2 is 8. So these are the values 3 and 8. Now, how are we going to know if these values are correct? Definitely, we will be using the original rational algebraic expressions. If x is equal to 3 here, x is equal to 3, we are going to substitute x here and then x there, it will become 3. So we will be having 6 over 3 plus 3 minus 3 all over 4 equals 2. Then if we simplify, 6 over 3 is 2, this expression will become 0 and then equals 2. And then we will be having 2 is equal to 2. Since two sides of the equations are equal, meaning to say x sub 1, 3 is correct. If we check the second one, x sub 2 is equal to 8, substituting again 8 in x here and then x there. Therefore, we will be having 6 over 8 plus 8 minus 3 over 4 equals 2. If we simplify 6 over 8, in lowest term is 3 over 4, and then 8 minus 3 is 5, so we have 5 over 4. We have here similar fraction, so we are going to add the numerator and then copy the denominator, so we will be having 8 over 4 equals 2. And simplifying further, we will be having 2 is equal to 2. Again, two sides of the equation are equal, meaning to say x sub 2 is correct. Therefore, the solution of these rational algebraic expressions are 3 and 8. For our example number 2, we have here x minus 3x over x minus 2 equals 6 minus 6 over x minus 2. Again, the first thing that you have to do is to identify the LCD. And in this case, our LCD is quantity x minus 2. We are going to multiply this expression by the LCD, which is x minus 2. So there you have it. If we do that, this will be the resulting equation. How did we do it? Let us see it. So x times x minus 2, we have that 1. And then next, multiplying on the second term, you are going to cancel out x minus 2. So what's left is minus 3x. Then you have equals. Then multiply again to the next term. Therefore, we have 6 multiplied by x minus 2. And then lastly, you are going to multiply the last term. This will be canceled out, x minus 2. So what's left is negative 6. Then we are going to simplify. We have x times x, that's x squared. x times negative 2, that's negative 2x. You are just going to copy negative 3x. And then using distributive property again, 6 times x is 6x. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. And then you are just going to copy negative 6. I hope you can follow. Let us simplify again. We will be having x squared, that is your x squared. Where did we get negative 5x? Yes, it comes from negative 2x minus 3x, that is negative 5x. And then your 6x here, using addition property of equality, it became negative 6x on the other side. And then if we simplify this, that is equal to negative 18. But since you are going to write it on the other side, using addition property of equality, it will become positive 18. And then we are going to simplify further again. 
it will become x squared minus 11x plus 18 equals 0. Where did we get negative 11x? Yes, you have here negative 5x minus 6x. It is equal to negative 11x. So again, the rational algebraic expression when simplified, transformed into quadratic equations. Then we are going to solve the quadratic equation. x squared minus 11x plus 18 equals 0. This one again is factorable. The correct factors are x minus 2 and x minus 9. Simply because negative 9 times negative 2 is positive 18. Negative 9 plus negative 2 is negative 11. And then zero product property, we have x minus 9 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. And then solving for x, our x sub 1 is 9 and our x sub 2 is 2. Let us check if x sub 1 and x sub 2 are both correct using the original rational algebraic expression. If x is equal to 9, so we are going to change x here, there, there. We also have 1 here. We are going to substitute 9. So we will be having 9 minus 3 times 9 over 9 minus 2 equals 6 minus 6 over 9 minus 2. Then let us simplify 1 by 1. So you have 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 minus 2 is 7. And then 9 minus 2 again is 7. Simplifying further, we have here the LCD is 7. So 7, we have over 1 here. So 7 divided by 1 is 7 times 9 is 63. And then minus 7. The same thing here, 7 Divided by 1 is 6, and then 7 times 6 is 42. 63 minus 27, we have here 36 over 7, and 42 minus 6 is also 36. So, two sides of the equation are correct, which means x sub 1, 9 is correct. Now, what if we are going to substitute x sub 2, which is Two. Since we have here x minus 2 in the denominator, and if x is equal to 2, what will happen? Then we will be having 6 over 0. If your denominator is 0, what does it mean? It will make the expression or the equation undefined. Therefore, we are not going to accept Two because it will make our equation undefined because the denominator will become zero. It only means that x sub 2 equals 2 is an extraneous root. Now, what are extraneous root? Extraneous roots are solution that emerges from the process of solving the problem, but it is not a valid solution to the problem or equation. We arrive at 2 here, but if we are going to substitute in our rational algebraic expression, it will become undefined. So we cannot accept 2 because it will make the equation not equal. That's why it is called extraneous root. So the only solution of this rational algebraic expression is definitely 9 alone. So to sum it up, again, there are equations that can be transformed to quadratic equations just like rational algebraic expressions. If the equation is transformed into quadratic, we can now use either extracting the root, factoring, completing the square, or quadratic formula to be able to solve it. But not all the emerging roots are acceptable because we have the so-called extraneous roots. These are the solution that will not make our equation true or valid. That's it for today. Again, this is Mom Sheila. Thank you for watching.